Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So, girls, 18 and under finalists, Michaela Meneses, Feliciadas, congratulations. How do you feel after winning that match? Well, I feel really, really happy. Uh, I have been working too hard for this tournament, so I'm not done yet. Uh, one more match, I'm going to be ready for the final. So uh, you've been traveling a lot for the pros and other tournaments. Does that hard work pay off here? Yes, of course. Uh, I want to say thank you to my family. Uh, thank you all people that helped me. My second family team, Zurich, uh, that is support me. Thank you everyone for believing me. A lot of people in Bolivia are watching. You want to talk to them in Spanish? Eh, sí, quiero agradecer eh, especialmente a mi familia de Bolivia que siempre me está apoyando y me está viendo. Eh, los extraño mucho y este nuevo triunfo va a ser para ustedes. She's quiet off the court, but on the court she's a beast. Good luck in the finals tomorrow. Boys coming up next, 16s. We're going to go courtside. Mexico versus Bolivia again. A lot of Mexico in the semifinals, but a ton of Bolivias. Gary, take it away. Thank you, Dean. Very well done. Congratulations, Micaela, Manessis. We have another person from Santa Cruz, Subleta from Bolivia, Santa Cruz de la Sierra. That'll be the site of the Pan American Championships in April, right before Easter. Gin Sanchez from Mexico. He's from Guadalajara, Jalisco, 0-0. Ramon de Leon from Dominican Republic takes over the main duties of officiating. Ball down. Mexico serving. 0 0. We have Perez and Sierra from Guatemala as lines persons. Ball live. Left up pinch, put away by the Bolivian with the backhand down that line. So we're early in game one. Welcome back, Dean. How are you, Gary? I'm um, well, thank you. Listen, we got a ton of Mexico versus Bolivia semifinals here across the board. Now we're back to the 16 boys. We had 18 boys, 18 girls. Now we're at the 16 boys, same, same two countries. And playing on adjacent courts are the 14 boys from Mexico. We have Renteria and Ruelas, both favorites, to be in the final tomorrow as well. Well, we had uh, Christian Sanchez. We had him on the feed the other day. He took on Jose uh, Casarias from uh, Guatemala. That was a tough match. Um, you know, he won 15-11, 15 15-10. Uh, Sabada on the other side took on um, Costa Rica and it was a 15-5, 15-0. He is the number one seed from Santa Cruz, Bolivia also. I would imagine he's the favorite coming in as the one, as the one seed. He's a fighter, he can shoot, and we're seeing it here. 2-1, Bolivia in the lead. Early game, number one, 2-1 Bolivia. Subieta, Sanchez. Uh, didn't do enough with that shot up front. It's a tough call. They want to hit a Z. At worst, get the opponent deep court. Short serve by the Mexican from Guadalajara. In pink, Bolivian in the gray shirt. Nice shot. Takes it off that short hop, pinches left side. Subieta, he's tough, Gary. I've watched him uh, uh, this week play uh, 18 doubles. Uh, no, 16 doubles and 16 singles. I haven't seen him play singles. He only had one match, you know, he had the pool play, but 
He appears to be serving well, shooting well. Yesterday we saw Sanchez, he's a tough kid. He gets to a lot of balls also, and he puts the ball away. So Good. you definitely see uh, Sanchez more of a uh, patient player, and Subieta, no. He's more of a shooter. He wants to run and gun. He wants to serve quick, and he wants to return quick. So opposite styles here. Subieta is also extremely fiery on the court, and you know Sanchez doesn't say too much. Or reserve. Let's play. Let's play. Do all the talking. That serve came up short, Dean. Second serve. Two serves in IRF play. Two timeouts available in each game. One minute in length. We do have lines persons here, so we have three available uh, usable appeals. Wow. That was pretty flat in the corner. 4-1. We had the, the boys first. Gary, Mexico won. The girls, the Bolivian won. Who's coming out on top here? Skip in. Have a timeout on the floor. One minute in length. We'll yeah. stay here. Quick 5 1 jump out lead. That's a timeout probably from Camp Mexico. I didn't see, Gary. Did you Did you see who I called did the not. I not. We're, we'll confirm. Bolivia is up 5 1. 5 1 Bolivia. And it is a, it is a timeout, timeout Mexico. from Mexico. Yeah. So, uh, smart timeout. You know, they don't, want, they don't want game one to get out of hand. Gary, you know? That's correct. So he has, uh, Sanchez has one available left. Two timeouts in IRF play, different from the USA. There's some other differences. Two, game, uh, two minutes of rest between games. US, it's two minutes after game one, and if it goes tie break, it would be five minutes after game two. We're back. Fernando Gutierrez for Mexico is the team coach. And Juan Carlos Tapia from Bolivia is the team coach for Subiera. Great serve, Dean, down that left side. A lot of yeah. pressure. That is. But again, you, you can clearly see at 6-1, even look at the body language from Sanchez. It's, he's standing up straight, tall. You know, he's not nervous. I saw that yesterday, too, because uh, he was down against Guatemala uh, early in game one also and early in game two, and he fought it off. Does he have enough here? We shall see. We shall see. Sabieta is really shooting well early in game one. Back up top. Good passing shot, but Zubieta gets that one. And he dove and got that one. He He's going to appeal instantly. I think he got that. Wow. Agreed, oh. agreed. Good thing we don't have a replay there. So Sanchez has used one of his timeouts. Subieta has used one of his appeals. So 1-6. Deliberation, racket above the head, 10 seconds after the score is called to be ready to serve and to put the serve in play from the server. Ball live. Oh, he left that up. That's a missed opportunity for both players. And that's in play, Gary. Oh, my. Good yes. rally. Ball jammed off the glass, handcuffed. Sanchez from Mexico, Subieta, now serving 6-1 in game one. Great shot. Excellent serve. Seven serving one. Had to come down that right side before in this game. He's very deceptive. Especially with that glass. Tough to pick up, Dean. Oh, 
Hand up by Christian Sanchez. I believe he's from Yalaska. Guadalajara, Jalisco. Guadalajara, if you haven't been there, beautiful, beautiful city. European influence, home of international play oftentimes. They have a sporting park, multidiscipline sporting park like right here in Central Deportiva, Guatemala City. Ball up, ball up again. Retrieved by the Bolivian. Look at the change of pace, goes from hard to soft. I think he called that a good get by Christian Sanchez. One seven, game one. He's got two now, he's serving that. Okay. Good get right there, Warded. set up off the back wall. Another pinch kill shot by Christian Sanchez from Yalasco, I, I, I can't pronounce it, Halasco? Ha uh, Long Island, Levittown. Jalisco. <laughs> Jalisco. Jalisco, Mexico. That J throws me off. It's all right. It's an evolution, my friend. <laughs> you got many years, many years to learn the many. J, Hota. I'm on the back nine, Gary. <laughs> yeah, but you, they'll give you some extra holes. Don't worry about it. Our lovely friend from Canada, she's giving me French lessons. So, hey, it's okay. Exactly. Thank you, Jen Saunders. 3-7. Christian now trying to get his drive serve to land. Short serve. Really pleased to be with you folks here. Second to last day, two week competition, put together the IRF Worlds and now the Junior Worlds. <laughs> nice flat rollout by Christian Sanchez. Dean, that was a great clear around the wall ball by Subieta, but 39 foot put away by Sanchez, so here he is, it's 4-7. There's a flat rollout by Subieta. Wanna say hello to Raja, Subieta. In the chat box, this is Ezekiel's older brother. He's got two, they all play racquetball in, in uh, Santa Cruz, Bolivia. Matias and Roger. Welcome to Joanne T. That's T for top notch Pomodoro from Boston. <laughs> wow, Joanne, how much are you paying Gary for the kind words? Eight, four. Left that one up. Got some, we got a sloppy rally. Who's going to end it, Gary? And the answer is Subieta, Bolivia. Both players had opportunities there. Countless opportunities to put the ball away. You know what? Semifinals, the pressure, the, the pace. And hopefully the patience, my friend, the three Ps. <laughs> Quote of the day. Oh, that's pretty, Dean. That is pretty. It was. Coach uh, Bamba, Bolivia. Both, both, um, Ezekiel's both brothers 
are watching. Like I said, come from a racquetball family. I met all three of them when we were in Cochabamba. Three really nice guys. Say hello Good to pass. say hello to Duran and Alva, Edwin Duran, Alva from Bolivia, working with the Squash Federation as well as racquetball in Cochabamba. So what does Sanchez need to do to get back in this game, Dean? Um, he's serving well, so I just, he's, he's not out of it. He has opportunity, we talked about it before. Some of the good takeaways, even when you lose a match or you lose a game, some of the takeaways are opportunities missed. Let's focus, let's clean up the mistakes, and let's take advantage of those other opportunities. Folks, you just saw another opportunity missed by Sanchez up front right. Decides to hit a near side pinch. Subieta was all over that. The wide angle, as Dean said earlier, probably would have been a better option. Ten four, Bolivia serving. Second serve. Game one. Boys semifinal. There's a setup. Ripped it cross court for a winner. Subieta, 11, subiendo cuatro. Into that glass, very difficult to pick up. Excellent serve just over the short line. As you said, he's very aggressive. I said that in the beginning, Gary. I've been watching him play. Timeout, Mexico, his second. He takes a break. We will, too. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. The Colorado Springs Sports Court brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. Welcome back, folks. Remember, Gary, neither one of these players in their quarterfinal match went to a tiebreaker. And that's, a, that's an interesting fact. You know, because tiebreaker brings pressure. Losing a game, neither one lost the game. So whoever loses game one, that's added pressure on top of them already. Por seguro, senor. Nice, didn't do too much, look not flashy. He's very tall, he's very lanky, he's got an excellent physique for racquetball, you know, and he, he shoots well and he gets a lot of balls, that's Christian Sanchez. Sub, uh, Subieta on the other hand, like we said before, run and gun, backhand appears to be phenomenal. And he's not losing the ball in the side glass, which is what Mexico's trying to kind of throw that ball over there. As we said, a good 70 percenter on that timeout. Got the side out he wanted. Look at that. Around the world was perfect. Gary. And there was another flat rollout from Soviet, Subieta. Three points from 15 needed to win the game. Point again. Points are coming in buckets full for Sibieta. Sanchez has no more tools in the chest as far as timeouts, Gary. Short ball, second serve coming up. See what, uh, if, if this is closed out by Subieta, see what adjustments Gutierrez's coach, also from Guadalajara, will make. 
Was a reverse pinch, good pickup by Sanchez. One so of his few uh, yeah. as stupid those shots. Well, you know what? He can afford that, Gary. He can right. afford to take a little risk right now at 13-4. But what he has to do now on on the defensive side is he can't allow Christian, you know, to score points, plentiful points. So Sanchez went with a different twist on that derives Z that time. It was too loose. Came off the back and he got away with it. So a point for Team Mexico. 5-13. Another good Z serve, Gary. Sanchez cost, oh, right off the glass. No. Another good opportunity there for Subieta. Subieta two points away from taking game one. Short serve. High lob, left side. Good serve, defensive return, set up, winner, outright. Tom Travers racquetball, folks. Serve Tom return, Travers yeah. racquetball, serve, weak return, put away. Game point number one, thanks for sharing everybody. Let's get some more people watching this match from Bolivia, from Mexico. That's a good serve, weak return, overhand into the corner. Excellent get off the back wall, Subieta. Set up for the game down in the corner winner winner ezekiel subieta takes game one 15-5 with authority uh gary let's take a look right here wow what a nice get great we'll kid. take a break we'll be back for game two on the international racquetball federation to the challenge court here. We are here in Guatemala City. Mistake from our producer left and right here. So, um, Gary, before game, game two starts, what are some of the projected rule changes and changes to the game on the IRF level is coming up here? Dean, good question. These are projected, nothing's confirmed. One is the age of a junior player, perhaps up to 21. Another is moving into the rally scoring format. But again, nothing is confirmed. Hopefully sometime in 2022, we'll have confirmation, yay or nay. Meanwhile, here we are. Wow, that came flying off the glass. All right, Joanne, back to work. A third would be uh, re-implementing in the open class, world championship class, mixed doubles. 
Wow. Gary, is there is there like just a a reason for the scoring system? Is it to make the game shorter? Yes, to to converge converge the matches. Mixed doubles that'll give uh, countries more chances to win medals. Absolutely, Spe especially team. Team Italy, the Pomodoro Alagi team. Look at these boys shooting Gary right under each other. Into the corner for a winner. Looks like it's 3 0 now. Bolivia. Great start. For Ezekiel Subieta. Subieta. Not what Team Mexico ordered in game two, Dean. Short serve. Changed the shirt, and now in the black is Subieta from Bolivia. Cochabamba, still in the pink. Sanchez from Guadalajara in Mexico. Subieta's from Santa Cruz. Okay, we'll confirm that. I asked uh, his coach where he's from. He said he was a coach of Bambino, but I'm not, I'm not saying A or A. We'll confirm that. Both are hotbeds of racquetball in Bolivia. And you mentioned Santa Cruz, the Pan Am Championships, an annual event will be there in Santa Cruz, also known as Santa Cruz de la Sierra. It's not in the mountains, it's down more by the jungle, the jungle. Second serve. See how fast he goes to serve? Wow, look at that back in. Kill shot off a lob serve. We talked about that before, Gary. Not a lot of these kids are using the lob nick or even a kick, just have the ball land deep in the court. Which, which gives those that have the tools the opportunity to take the ball early off the short hop. As you he, see, took, he took it out of the air, but he put it into the floor. One four, one three for Sanchez. Easy kill shot there by Christian Sanchez. Welcome back to Alexis Iwasa. She will be departing tomorrow. Thank you for joining us, Alexis. Thank you for sharing all of your skills. She said, con gusto, with her pleasure. Gary, yes, see confirmation. Ezekiel is from Santa Cruz de la Sierra. Thank you, sir. That's from Matias, his older middle brother. There's three of them that I know of. Thank you, Matthias. 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. I stand corrected. Thank you very much. Good serve. Skipped in. Point. Subieta looking to close this out in two. Fascinating, Dean. Another... Mexico Bolivia matchup here. Correct. Nine teams represented in this junior championships. Five countries that were at the Worlds elected not to field a junior team. Skipped in another point. 5 2. And the emotion from. Ezekiel Subieta on every point, keeping himself charged up and in the game. I said it before, Sanchez is reserved. He's not that type of player that I've seen so far. Um, quiet, 
sometimes you got to watch them. As as is the coaching staff of Team Mexico. We're looking at them very subdued. That's that's not anymore. Timeout time. Timeout time for Mexico. We'll take a break and we'll be back right here on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try it hard. For, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome back everyone. Bolivia, Mexico. The third in a row. Bolivia is cruising here. So far, Dean Sanchez hasn't had the answers to combat the fiery Bolivian. Finds himself with a four point deficit in game two after having only scored five points in game one. That'll help, good timeout. What a shot down the line with authority. Change to the drive Z left, but uh, it was too, too loose. Didn't get the angle, Dean. Consequently, the Bolivian came in and was able to attack. Another good serve. Thus far, a great game plan for Team Bolivia, and he's executing as he hits that backhand pass left side. Again. Subieta, drive serve. Pinch into the corner. So we had this serving well. Uh, I think let's speculate that uh, Ramon called that the ball was up and it's a replay. Well, one. One, one agreed, one, one disagreed. So a used appeal on the half of uh, Subieta. So Subieta is serving well, Gary, like I said before. It's going into the backhand, but he hasn't served. He hasn't shown the forehand at all. Not this game. That's accurate. There it is. <laughs> I think he heard you on the microphone. Well, sometimes you just got to show it, even though it's not a good serve. There it is. Down the line, fist pump again. Every point is a fist pump at 8-2. No answers from Sanchez. No, Mexico still with one timeout. Comes left again, short. Leaving it up. Cross court for a winner. 9-2. Sanchez took that early, which is good, but uh, just technically he was standing straight up, Dean. Didn't put anything on it. Going to the forehand now.
Half lob left. Up top. That's a corner again. Fist pump timeout number two for Mexico. 10 serves two, we'll take a break. We'll be back for the remainder of game two right here on the International Racquetball Federation. The Colorado Springs Sports Corp brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. Welcome back, folks. Dean Baer, Gary Mazaroff. Once again, we need to thank Gearbox for being the official ball of the IRF. We need to thank Court Wars, presented by Williams Accounting, for sponsoring the broadcast. That's a good serve, as well as Planet the Racquetball. Ill-advised, two in a row. Good cross-court pass. Both players pinching with their opponent right in front of them, Gary. They're gonna look back that on that and say, I had chances. Multiple opportunities. Fortunately for Sanchez, snapped across court with the forehand winner. Speaking of winners, there it is, a backhand Simple. winner left side. So, you know, a loose return. There was really no thought in that. He put it up to the top. It wasn't the ceiling, but it was a ceiling. Then hit the sidewall, slowed down. He's got to drive that across court right there. Down the line. There's where you're going to win this game right here, folks. By staying down the line. Both players are pinching just way too much. Thank you, Senor Gomez. Regarding Subieta, Grita Cadapunto, fist pumps, very animated. You know, and you go back to his aggressiveness where he took that right off out of midair. He's got to let that. He's he's got to let that fall, Gary. And the reason being is he can't see where Sanchez is, and Sanchez is all over him. Bottom board skips it in. Opportunity lost by Sanchez, so no change in the score. It's 10-3, game two. Uh, should be a drive serve to the forehand. Should be next for him. And Dean won the over-under on that one. Good call. <laughs> it's like we edited this. <laughs> Wow, not a good second serve. It was a lob, it was a nick, but it was early. Came off about 35 feet, maybe 34. Had an easy setup. And Christian was very comfortable. That's a good ceiling ball for both of them. This is what Christian wants. He wants those setups, you know what? 20, 30 feet back. He's not missing those, and he's comfortable there. He's not comfortable at 38, 39 feet. Pecking away. I'd like at, to see. I'd like to see Subi have to come over overhand and drive it. Skipped in. Yeah, it definitely needed an, a different return. The ceiling ball play wasn't working for him. What way will he go with the driver? The will, will he jam the ball? Will he reverse it? Let it fall. Shoot. Winner. Shoot when you have opportunity. Let that ball bounce and take it on before that second bounce. 
and drive it straight in, which is what he did. Good call, Dean. No timeouts for Mexico. 11, 11, 4. Keeping Sanchez guessing on the return. Comes left again. Left it up. Off the back wall. Nice setup, Christian Sanchez. From Yalasco, Mexico. Gonna go back to that ceiling. Nope. Good Got grab. It. He's a tall guy. So what happened is he wrapped it around. Subieta read it, took it early, passed him left side. Yeah, but you see his that out of midair, he didn't go into the corner like he did the last few times because Sanchez is in the middle of the court. So it was a good adjustment. Skipped one. Unforced error that time, but I mean, it was a great serve and a weak return. It's all you can ask for. Overall, very few unforced errors by Subieta. Now, we talked about this yesterday too, Gary. It's very tough to shut the door and finish off the match. Look at the reach. Forcing shots. That should be a replay. Either that or unavoidable. It's calling a replay. Let's see if Mexico appeals and asks for an avoidable. They don't. Good pick up off the back wall. There he is early. Yeah, but he pinched it again. Buena bola. Christian Sanchez. Like I said, Gary, sometimes the aggressiveness can come back and hurt you. And I think in order for uh, Ezekiel to shift his aggressiveness to a little more play, it, it will be difficult. Cambio, side out. So folks, we're in game two. Subieta from Bolivia serving to Sanchez from Mexico. Subieta won the first game, 15-5. It's 11-5 in game two. The winner will be in the final tomorrow. Sanchez. So, Gary, um, Subieta uh, served three times without scoring a point, stuck on 11. Sanchez served three times, got one. Let's see what happens now. He, he needs to bundle a few more, get back into this game. There's the nick, he wraps it around. Ceiling ball. But no call, up. no call. That's a bad appeal, Gary. It was a good get. Let's see how it plays out. Two ups, like I said, good get, bad appeal. Appeal used, that's two. He's only got one more in his pocket. Sometimes That's losing the point and an appeal, that, that can do numbers on you. Double entendre, my friend. Who's gonna make the mistake? Set up. Oh, that hit the wa side wall and slowed down. Oh, wow, went for the, went for the splat. Timeout, Subieta for Bolivia, his first. We'll take a break. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham? Give a big round of applause. He'll give it up.
Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, game two, 11-6, Bolivia in the lead. Bolivia took game one. This is a best of three. Let's see coming out of that timeout for Bolivia. Sanchez. Two, four good ceiling balls. Nice timeout for Bolivia. Gets off point number 11. He's three away. They're gonna be tough, Gary. We have it at 12-6, we'll... Uh, That's we correct. Yeah. Oh, mistake. All live. All is live. Set up off the back wall. Kill shot down the line, Mexico. Still in it, Dean. We've seen a lot of comebacks over these two weeks. Nick Lobb again to Nick. Sanchez, Subieta. Sanchez put it away, point. Yeah, he took a lot off that, really didn't overswing. You know, he knew he had Subieta. All he had to do was make the front wall less than six inches from the, from the floor. Easy winner, Mexico. Wow, pretty flat. Prediction, Gary, if Mexico pulls out this game, it will be very tough for Subieta to recover, having a lead like he had. It's shrinking. Can he keep his foot on the gas? Let's see. Let's see. Back to the drive, and it's a good one. Set up. Another good get. Set up off the back wall again. Christian's putting a lot of pressure by getting these balls. Ah, and he skipped the one. Neutralized the serve. Got into the flow of the point, had an opportunity, and put it into the floor. Meanwhile, 13-7, game two. Now's where you need a jam serve, Gary. Jam coming right off that wall, right in him. Wow. Short serve. That's not Second. a good time for a rollout on the serve, Gary, right? Well, as you said, he's got a comfortable lead. He can make a mistake. So now he goes with the reverse up top. Set up forehand. Another ball, good pickup. All live. Not anymore. Kill shot. Sanchez. Let's see what he does on the serve. Well, he likes that high lob Z, but now he's probably going to go back to the drive. No. Staying with it. Going with the Nick. He's gone Nick last few innings. Well, set up. Ball, Ball skipped. skipped in. Again, he's he's had opportunities here, Dean. <laughs> Hasn't cashed in. So no change in the score in that inning. Still 13-7, game two. That's a big opportunity miss, Gary. That's going to come back and uh, haunt him. With you on that one. Short. So deep into game two, the legs start to go a little bit, Gary. As you can see, Ezekiel missing on the drive serve often. It's a good return on the serve. Oh, nice. Wow. Uh, he's, he's saying he had contact. That ball cracked out. Last one. 37 feet. No. Right. No appeal. 7-13. Two bounce get right there. Make that eight. So he's hitting the high lob to entice Subieta to shoot, which he is. Sanchez was able to put it away, 8-13. Again.
Ah, oh, left up, voidable hinder. Another point I don't score. Know. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I agree with that. I, I think he cleared in time. If anything, a safety replay. Well, overruling your call, Dean. Up top, bottom line is it's 9-13. To be it on the defense right now. Ball hit him, so he calling a punto. He says he was in the line of a cross court. It hit his racket. It didn't that, hit him. Does that make a difference, Gary, rackets, from a rule standpoint? Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. The racket's part of his body. So awarded, appeal, loss of another appeal, point. No more appeals for him. Pressure now, Team Bolivia. 10-13. That should be an avoidable on the part of so if the, Mexico. If he served the ball without the refer referee was calling uh, time or something, and okay. he serves the ball anyway. Uh, that's a warning. Okay. He does it again. It could be, well, it should be. Penalty. Technical. It should be a referee technical minus a point for delay. Okay, Subieta showing some composure. Let's see if he can close this out. 13-10, game two. Sanchez has certainly made this a game. Well, we gotta remember, Gary, it was 11-5, then it came up to about 11-6, seven or eight before Subieta got that point 12. 13 came right after that. He's been stuck on 13 for a while. And that's a tough shot. Wow, what a shot into the... Sidewall glass. Subieta was there. We'll and make that right. plural. Tough shots. Correct. Great game here. Thank you for tuning in, folks. You're seeing a gem of a match here between Bolivia and Mexico again. Comes up top again. Nixon. Great serve. Ball Good live. get off the back glass. Ball live. Set up. So the call, we believe, by De Leon is avoidable. Again, a lot, of, a lot of chatter from the Mexican coaches, Gary. Time out, Bolivia. We'll take a break. We'll be back right here on the International Racket. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try hard for, for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome back folks, 11-13, Mexico charging back, Bolivia with a shirt change. Is it a lucky shirt? <laughs> Let's see. Multi-color. Santa Cruz de la Sierra, Subieta, Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico is Sanchez. Nick, ceiling return. Oh, that hit the crack. There was a lot of firepower there, but it did hit the crack. All cracks are you, good. It didn't hit that crack. That was a big setup for Sanchez. What ifs? What ifs? The drive serve has not been effective, Gary. Let's see. <laughs> and the drive serve is not effective. Went back to the forehand. Sanchez read it, stepped. Drilled it down the line for a side out. Comes back with the nick. Ceiling return. 
Going to his forehand again. All right, ceiling exchange. Two bounces. Good side out. Got to see a really good drive serve to the backhand right now, Gary. His drive serve has not been effective. He's been going that way. High Z to the right. Up top. Gets the return. Ooh. Sanchez set up. Forehand. Off the back wall. And skips in a relatively easy pinch shot. Match point. Number one in favor of Bolivia Subiera. Wow. Match point. 14. Serves 11. Here comes the drive. Short. Not getting that drive serve in, Gary. But his lob serve, Christian has not driven the ball off the live, off the lob serve. Yet. I don't, he's I don't think he's. I don't think he's comfortable. And here's a setup for the match. Cross court, he's there. Set up again off the back wall. He gets that one. And another diving get. Skipped it in, reverse. went for the reverse pinch. Gotta use the lines. So Sanchez holds off match point number one. It's 11-14. Wow, what a shot by Christian Sanchez. Make that 12-14, Dean. Pressure here. Yeah, you know, you gotta expect the run from, from you know, the, the whole Mexican team is here, like Gary. I lob to the backhand. Ooh, good save. Kill shot down the line. And a fist pump with the fire. Match point number two for Bolivia. Ezekiel. Subieta. Let's see if he uh, gives a different twist on this. His drive first serve has not served that has, has not served well late in game two at all. Hasn't made one. Looked like a good one. Set up forehand. Skipped it in. I think he called it a skip. He's going to appeal automatically. Agreed, agreed, call stands, match, ladies and gentlemen. Bolivia will move on. Three Bolivia-Mexico matches this morning. Two for Bolivia, one for Mexico. Gary, your thoughts on the ending there? Great match, Sanchez stayed in the match. 15-5, 15-12, Subieta had a great game plan and overall he executed. You're with the IRF folks. Thank you no, we're for gonna, tuning in. We're gonna do a we're gonna do an interview with Dean. So stay with us. We'll be back. The Colorado Springs Sports Corp brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Club. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Ezekiel Subieta, Feliciadas, congratulations. That was a well-played match. Uh, Mexico had the charge back. Um, your drive serve really wasn't working. But let me ask you, how do you feel after that match? Um, well, I feel very good. I'm, I'm very happy for, for this. And I want to say thank, thank you to, to, to my parents. So... Yeah, your brothers were watching. There was a lot of people from Bolivia. 
We got a lot of Bolivia, Mexico in the uh, in the semifinals. This is a, a trip to the finals. Is this the first finals for you in a junior world event? Yes, it is. So, a lot of people back in Bolivia. You want to speak to them in Spanish? Let them know how you feel. Muchas gracias a toda la gente que me miró y bueno, no. Esto va para toda la gente que me está apoyando y en especial para mis padres. Ladies and gentlemen, finalist, boys 16 and under, Ezequiel Subieta. Coming up next, we got another match. Make sure you tune in right here on the International Racquetball Federation. Two